little bit more. All right. Now, anytime you get this little message down here, say you made a lot of changes, you do want to save it because um, you should always save your work frequently. You know, by doing before I do, let me go to back to the muddy part. Get get the mud. Um, let me see, where's the mud at? Open catalog. Man, I could add a little more blue to this mud here. You know. So let's see if we go with the saturation down here or with the hue. Oh, there we go. I'm add a little saturation here. And brighten it. And, I, you know, I'm very excited to, um, I'm very excited to design, um, design these maps. Uh, I was, I am not a cartographer, car, let's go cartographer, you know, let me put it this way. I am a cartographer, but the thing is, like, you know, I recently just learned how to do cartography, especially with, um, incarnate.com, you know, uh, I should go on uh, two years now, you know, I'm still, I'm still not that good yet, but, you know, I am happy to uh, produce the produce the maps I have done so far and you know as I as I have told you in my last videos like you know you can also anybody can do this you know if you have a passion or heart for it you know just just go for it you know all right all right the reason like again reason why I'm adding more darker areas because this is gonna be like the forest part you know, in Kasha Barrier, you know, the forest, the forest has different hues, it's, it's dark, you know, you got some grass areas, stuff like that, so, now what I'm going to do is this, I'm going to turn back on the object here, so I can see how I'm going to design that, you know, I'm going to, of course, I got to add mountains down here, so the first thing I always do, I always add mountains, because mountains is always, is always going to be the foundation of where I'm going to lay, uh, lay the whole map here. Uh, before I do, I do want to make that background um, a blue, a, a bluish color. So let's go to textures, background, and see if we can find these textures here. Actually, let's see if we do here um, texture. So I got an open catalog. Let's do a, a light blue. I might change. I might give it a more of a, a deeper, darker, purplish hue color. I'm not quite sure. Let's pick the right one first. This one says ice. And snow, we want to do water. Okay, so sometimes you have to search for it. And also, I want to tell you, like, you know, if you want to do, if you want to design your maps, if you, if you, um, a person that does RPG, do board games, um, hell, if you do stories like I do, this is a perfect, um, website for you to go is incarnate.com. I'm not getting paid to say this. I was just singing it praise because the fact is that um, this website gives you just about everything that you need to design a map, design your first map. All you got to do is bring your imagination and pay a subscription, you know, um, pay $5 a month for, you know, to access the website or $25 a month. You know, it, to me, that's a steal, you know. All right, let's try this this ocean here. I think this one here, I like this because it has like... Um, it has like waves in here. Now I want to change the texture. Let me see. Do I want to? I want to give it more of like a a deep purple or something like that. You know. Again, this is a realm. You know, Kashiveria is like it has like an iridescent color. You know. So let's do this. Uh, let's go here. Uh, let's go to the color. Let me see. Go to settings, color. Let's see if I can make give it a good hue. And I might make it darker. I don't want it too purple. I don't want it too blue. Let's see if I can do the contrast. Also, I might, I might do a Larry. I'm not quite sure. Yeah. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, you know, also you could you could layer this as well. Um so let's try this top one here. Let's go to open let's go to open catalog. We're gonna do some layering here because I do not want it to to be too powerful. Uh, let me see. Let's try this light blue here. You know, we're gonna fill that up real quick. Um, here's that feel. Okay, that's good. And now I'm just gonna layer it just to give it. Uh, let's, let's do this. Let's um increase the hue. 
There we go. Now, um, you know, I'm not liking. I don't know if I'm I'm feeling that right there. I mean, even though it slaps a little bit, you know, that's most likely for more 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 of a 3D effect. So I'm going to change that. Um, matter of fact, I'm, I'm just going to use this one here, and I'm going to go um change the hue of that. Uh, come on, hue. This is going to contrast. Nope, nope. Brightness, saturation. All right. I'm gonna do a fill here first. See how that works out. Then I'm gonna do a fill here. Uh, okay. Do a fill here. See what happens. Nope. Don't like that. That's okay. Like you know, if you mess up, it's gonna take you know, it is gonna you know, take some time to get the feel of it. You know. Sometimes, like, you know, you have, it's a hit and miss, you know. Matter of fact, let me see if I can turn down the, the opacity and do a feel, see what happens. Almost works. Let me see. I'll do a full feel. Turn on, turn the opacity way up. Then I'm going to turn it down and I'm going to hit it with this. See what, how that works out. Okay. It's working. Now I'm kind of hitting the field a couple more times so I can get you know get what I want. Um, let's see how that works out for a 3D map. You know, um, let's go ahead and start adding some assets to here. So what I want to do is I want to grab a couple assets. I most definitely want to do get the map. Uh, excuse me, get the mountains. So let's find the 3D. 3D is, is going to be perfect for that one, especially if you if you want to give it more of a depth and in, in, in color and you know. Help you help your audience to give a perspective to your maps, you know. And pretty much like um, I'm kind of like break, breaking the rules here, but that's okay because the fact is like, how am I breaking the rules? Is that 3D maps? I mean, 3D assets is based for 3D maps. Like you know, if you're doing a battle map or it's like up up and close, but I have to give it more depth as far as like you know, with the with the world map, you know, to give readers it. it to me, it kind of, I feel like it kind of helps the audience get more in tune or more immersed into the, into the realm itself, especially when you start reading, uh, reading the chapters, you know. So, let me see, this is parchment. <laughs> I said I wasn't going to talk that much, but here I am. <laughs> also, another thing, too, with this website, this website is very good in updating their, their website. Uh, the, the developers of this website because they added a lot of stuff since since two years. Um, I think they added some more stuff a couple months ago, just not that long ago. All right, so so if you are um, trying to um, get into map making and you're looking for a particular particular feel, this this is the website for you. So let me see. Um, ask, let, me, let me type in mountain. Mountain. Oh, let me, let me get the mountain here first. Uh, I forgot one thing. Your so, your body, your source of water. Make sure you get your source of water first. It's not the mountains. Um, your uh, your water source or the flow of your water that goes through through the, the, the land is very important to get that established. So. This is going to be a dark content, so I almost definitely want to get these here. Get that asset here. And I'm going to, I always like to drop my assets off to the side. I don't know why it's green, but. Alright. Let me see. Uh, let me see what's going on here. Okay, I see what's going on here. Alright. Let me go back into the catalog. Hmm. Okay, what is this? Now this is terrain, so let me find the maps or the mountains. Oh, I, I mean, I think I chose this one right here, but I don't know why it's I don't know why it's coming off green here. Let me check something out. Let me turn the objects off. Not the object, excuse me. All right. Okay, here we go. 